I got it. I got it. <coughs> so now we're Sorry. joined by Scott Keir, who's going to give us his pick of the show. Hello, yes. sir. Hi. Um, you know, as it's all about safety for me this year, really. Um, as as back safety is improving a, across the board with with uh, you know improved stair chairs, better stair chairs, power stretchers, etc. The next big thing, at least in my eyes, is lifting a backboard off the ground. Um, I'm six foot five. That's a heck of a long way to go for me. And having the right lifting technique to do that is, is a difficult thing. So how do you make that easier? You move the lifting point up. And what we have here is the easy lift backboard. We have Dave Robinson with us who can tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, thank you. Scott's exactly right. The, uh, the problem with the traditional backboard is that no matter what kind of backboard it is, what the weight carrying capacity is, what it's made out of, how many stringers it's got in it, at the end of the day, you still have to bend over and pick it up off the ground. And that's the most dangerous, most biomechanically challenging lift that paramedics have to do every single day. So raising the point of the lift from the ground to a point just below the knees reduces torque on the lower back by as much as 50%. Somebody who's 6'5", it's about 50%. If you're a little bit shorter, the numbers go up because the angles get much better. So for like, believe me, I'm 100% fine. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You have no torque on I your lower back. I have no torque. You're lifting a little, a little above our knees, it would, you'd, you'd be kind of doing push-ups with it. Uh, trust me, I've had tall partners before, and it's a challenge to get the <laughs> equal height. <laughs> So, so, so how does it work? Yeah. So, it, uh, Scott, if you just want to give a, a pull to the handle, the idea is that the uh, oh, wow. there are some extendable handles that retract into the board. They're held in place with a permanent spring. Huh. The uh, uh, material that's used is a polyester webbing, just like seatbelt, so it doesn't hold on to any contaminants. You can clean it with any kind of uh, solvents or cleaner that you want to put on it, and uh, it doesn't hold on to anything. It, the, uh, the board itself weighs about 22 pounds, so it's right in the middle of that weight range for 1,000 pound weight rated boards. It is a 1,000 pound weight rating, and since we were engineering the safety into it, we also wanted to engineer in a whole bunch of patient comfort features. Um, backboards kind of have two problems. The first, of course, is that they're difficult to lift biomechanically, and they cause back injuries to the people that are doing the lifting, so for the rescuer it's a problem. But for the patient it's also a problem. They're typically flat, and so they cause pressure sores on the back. Ours is yep. concave, so it uh, unweights the sacrum and spine. It's got oversized handholds all the way around, so when you do lift it with more than two rescuers, you can easily grab onto any part of that. What you see in the bottom there isn't just clever branding features, which it is too, by the way, but <laughs> what it really is is a way to uh, hold on to the patient's clothing and skin. It acts as a patient brake when they're in the ambulance and you're going around corners or accelerating or decelerating. The headbed was actually invented by an ER physician and he engineered it from the standpoint of how do I keep a patient's head uh, stable and absolutely immobilized but still make it comfortable for the patient. And believe it or not, we actually had an EMT fall asleep on our backboard during training and I would challenge anybody else to see if you can go to sleep on any of the other backboards. So and I think that, that piece is removable and changeable? It is. Everything that we sell with the system we call a semi-disposable. So if it gets okay. soiled or dirty, you just throw it away. They're all very inexpensive products. So they're intended to compete with the most expensive disposables that are out there and work better. And do you have a, a scoop version out or coming? We don't have a scoop version. The next version that's going to be coming out is a lighter weight rated version. So it's, uh, it doesn't have quite the weight carrying capacity. <clears throat> this is a thousand pound board. And I would challenge anybody, it's got the best rigidity of any board in the market, period. Not by a little bit, but by a lot. The 500 pound board will actually have a better rigidity than any of the other thousand pound boards on the market. It's gray, but other than that, it has the same retraction mechanics and uses all of the same accessories. In accessories, the next set of products that we have coming out are balloon wheels for beach rescue and um, some lighter boards that are going to be used primarily for air rescue and things like that. Very cool. Wow. Excellent. Where can we find out more information about it? EasyLiftRescue.com. Thank cool. you very much. Thank you. Uh, we also uh, provide a full suite of ergonomics training. So, you know, buying an Easy Lift Rescue system is only part of the equation. We want to teach people to lift boards, whether they buy ours or not, to lift them appropriately and use them correctly. So, on our website, which is EasyLiftRescue.com, there's a full line of uh, training videos that will walk you through step by step. And then what we encourage everybody to do is, uh, you know, take the backboard out of the closet and actually lift your rescue Randy in the station because there's nothing that will 
ever substitute for lifting in a real world situation. Right, that's and, that, and that's that's so important because you're you're, you're not only giving them the tool, you're you're giving them the mechanics too. It's not just a you know a one sale and you're done. You know that's the the, the investment on both sides of it, which is which is really great to see. But we're we're a weird duck from a company standpoint, and that we all started about this. And my partner Rob Heck was in the ER all the time, and so he was constantly seeing medics come in with back injuries from lifting patients. Mm -hmm. So he invented the product not to make a lot of money with the product or even to have a company. In fact, his original idea was to license it to somebody, but he's all about reducing back injuries. So, you know, he's a physician, he's already successful, and he says, hey, if we can just reduce injuries, that's what we want to accomplish. So our company goal is to reduce back injuries. If we can sell some rescue systems along the way, then that's a great thing as well. That's nice. terrific. Well, and it's great. a challenge because uh, back injuries have been a focus from OSHA in the healthcare industry. But EMS falls outside the healthcare industry in, in mm -hmm. those studies, and so uh, there's been a lot of focus in long-term care, making sure there's lift assist aids and things like that for the nurses, the aides, and, and anybody else that's doing lifting in those locations. But we haven't had that same focus in EMS, even though we're doing the same kind of lifts. There, there are a lot of departments that have started to focus on that for exactly that reason. and. The, the, the thing that I always say is when I start looking at injury statistics for EMS, the only industry that competes with EMS for injuries is NFL football. Hmm. You basically, if you sit around in a room full of paramedics that have been there for five or ten years, 100% of them have had a lost time injury at work. So it's really a very risky profession, and I think it's up to all of us. It's, we're responsible for teaching people to be a professional safety athlete and conduct themselves in a way that's safer for them. Hmm. Very cool. Yep. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much for bringing it up. I appreciate it. Thank you, doctor, for, for inventing it, coming up with this idea. Thanks for having us here. Thanks, Scott. Really appreciate it. All right. Thank you, guys.